We get back to the IT mate now. A post on social media led police to suspected drug traffickers and illegal guns. IT mate's Cody Fisher reports now. Court documents say that detectives saw Deshaun Taylor dancing around holding a gun on his Instagram story. That sparked the investigation that led to his. Yo, we're literally like, we're literally like, we're simians, we're primates. We're primates, man. We get back to the IT mate now. A post on social media led police to suspected drug traffickers and illegal guns. IT mates Cody Fisher reports now. Court documents say that detectives saw Deshaun Taylor dancing around holding a gun on his Instagram story. That sparked the investigation that led to his arrest and the arrest of Galkel Weathers, along with the seizure of drugs and guns. Pounds of marijuana and about three ounces of meth were taken off the street because of the investigation at this apartment complex on the west side. This is where detectives tracked down 20-year-old Dewan Taylor after he posted a video to Instagram of him holding a gun. Taylor was already facing a charge of possessing a machine gun, so it was illegal for him to have a gun. When detectives tracked Taylor to this complex, they saw 20-year-old Gakel Weathers holding a gun and going in and out of a breezeway at the apartments. Weathers was on house arrest at the time after pleading guilty to possessing a machine gun. So it was... So both of these guys, one is on house arrest... <laughs> And one is wanted. One is one one is forbidden from possessing a gun. The one who's the one who is who who is like out on bond and can't can't and isn't able to carry a gun because of some previous charges. That one's on social media dancing around with a gun. The one that's on house arrest is Walking back and forth in a breezeway, from a breezeway to the street, back and forth with a gun in his hand. Listen, man. Listen, man. Black people talk about how America, they made these laws for black. No, they didn't. They didn't make these laws with you in mind. That's the problem. The problem isn't that America KKK made up these laws, these criminal justice laws with you in mind. That's not the problem. The problem isn't that they didn't make them up with you in mind. None of this shit works against you. None of these laws, none of these stipulations, house arrests, ankle monitors, bond, personal recognizance. You can't hang around felons. You can't hang around gang members uh, while you're on trial. You will. Why you out? Why you on probation? Probation, parole, none of that shit works with you. Sitting around holding a gun on his Instagram story. That sparked the investigation that led to his arrest and the arrest of Galkel Weathers, along with the seizure of drugs and guns. Pounds of marijuana and about three ounces of meth were taken off the street because of the investigation at this apartment complex on the west side. This is where detectives tracked down 20-year-old Dewan Taylor after he posted a video to Instagram of him holding a gun. Taylor was already facing a charge of possessing a machine gun, so it was illegal for him to have a gun. When detectives tracked Taylor to this complex, they saw 20-year-old Gakel Weathers holding a gun and going in and out of a breezeway at the apartments. Weathers was on house arrest at the time after pleading guilty to possessing a machine gun, so it was also illegal for him to be holding a gun. Police first arrested Taylor during a traffic stop after they found guns in the car. Then they got a search warrant for Weathers' apartment. That's where they found the marijuana and meth. 
and more guns, including one with the machine gun conversion device on it, turning it into a fully automatic gun. Being able to get those five guns off the street, one of which included a machine gun conversion device, uh, we can't go into it. We, we can't say just what we prevented by getting these off the streets. These two individuals were known violent offenders. IMPD says the Indian crime. We begin with a woman turning the tables on armed would be carjackers who were threatening her life. Oops. We get back to the IT mate now a post on marijuana and meth and more guns, including one with the machine gun conversion device on it, turning it into a fully automatic gun. Being able to get those five guns off the street, one of which included a machine gun conversion device, uh, we can't go into it. We, we can't say just what we prevented by getting these off the streets. These two individuals were known violent offenders. IMPD says the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force focuses their efforts on suspected criminals like Taylor and Weathers. Here in 2024 alone, they've taken 125 crime guns off the street and upwards of 90 violent offenders. First at 430, we are learning more about a shooting that left a man dead in North Memphis early this morning. Memphis police confirmed they visited the home just hours before the deadly shooting. WRAG's Kwamitra Wilbur. Again, nothing can stop some people. The white man's world, the things he created, the barriers to crime, the deterrence to crime, the way he treats offenders and <laughs> criminals, it doesn't work with you. Exhibit B. First at 430, we are learning more about a shooting that left a man dead in North Memphis early this morning. Memphis police confirmed they visited the home just hours before the deadly shooting. WRAG's Kwamitra Wilburn explains why family members believe the victim was targeted. Driving away in a shot up Honda Accord is a family on their way to plan a funeral. They didn't want to go on camera, but say their loved one was shot and killed at this home on Heard Avenue early Wednesday morning. Family says the victim was ambushed and killed while taking out the trash. Memphis police say he died at the hospital. Ambushed and killed while taking out the trash. We did a story not too long ago, maybe last year on a woman. She was killed while taking out the trash. Because some her her son owed some drug dealers some money and ghosted them, so they caught her. They caught his mom taking out the trash and ambushed her and killed her. We did that story last year on Heard Avenue early Wednesday morning. Family says the victim was ambushed and killed while taking out the trash. Memphis police say he died at the hospital around uh, four o'clock. Four. Neighbors say they were shocked by the massive police presence. However, WREG learned this was not MPD's first visit to the home that night. Crazy. I mean, you just, after a while, just get numb to it. Memphis police confirmed they initially responded to a shooting at that same home hours before the ruthless killing. <laughs> we need two more contributors to drop the link, man. Two more contributors to drop the link, man. Come on, guys, man. Support the channel, man. Um, listen, man, I can't make this stuff up, man. I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. Of police presence. However, WREG learned this was not MPD's first visit to the home that night. Crazy. I mean, you just, after a while, you just get numb to it. Memphis police confirmed they initially responded to a shooting at that same home hours before the ruthless killing. According to a police report, a woman was sitting in a car in her driveway with her boyfriend when her ex boyfriend approached them. MPD says the woman and her ex got into an argument after she told him to leave. She says the suspect appeared to be intoxicated. 
During the argument, the woman says her current boyfriend, who is listed as the victim, told the suspect he was, quote, being disrespectful. At that point, the suspect reportedly said, oh, it's on, as the victim walked away. The report says the suspect ran to a white vehicle, was given a gun by someone inside, fired several shots at the victim, and then left. Now, no one was injured during that encounter. It's good to see Bria back in Memphis, man. <laughs> Welcome back to Memphis, Bria. You know, Bria, they, she, she's in Milwaukee, man. Bria Jones, she's in Milwaukee now. She does the news in Milwaukee affiliate. You may have to go to Milwaukee tonight to see, check up on Bria, man. Now, no one was injured during that encounter, but family members of the deceased say they believe the same person returned hours later and killed the victim. Memphis police have not confirmed whether the gun... Think about this, man. I just want y'all to think about this, man. Dude was sitting in the driveway with his girlfriend. A car full of dudes roll up. It's the ex-boyfriend and his boys. The ex-boyfriend comes over to the car where the girlfriend and the boyfriend are sitting in. The ex-boyfriend starts arguing with the girlfriend. The, 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 the current boyfriend says, hey, man, you're being disrespectful. The ex-boyfriend then goes back to the car that he pulled up in. One of his boys gives him a gun, and he fires at the current boyfriend. Boom, boom, boom. And then they leave. He doesn't hit the, boy, the current boyfriend. They leave. How many of y'all here, after that happened to you, would take the trash out that night, would leave the house that night. How many of y'all would leave the house that night? <laughs> Homie still went out to take the trash out after that happened. Like the dude said, man, they desensitized to this shit, man. They're desensitized to this shit. Like the guy said, murder and crime in any black jurisdiction or black area, the people become desensitized to it because it's just the way they live. Listen to the listen to this guy. I mean, you just after a while, you just get numb to it. Memphis police confirm. Mm. But family members of the deceased say they believe the same person returned hours later and killed the victim. Memphis police have not confirmed whether the gunman in both shootings is the same person, but police say the killer was last seen in a white Maxima. This is an ongoing investigation. Reporting for your news leader from North Memphis, Kwame Chua Bourne, WREG News.